Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at how are you currently seeing or viewing your person. All right, let's take a look. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. We have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. Ooh, a lot of indecision here. So indecisiveness, very strong energy of indecisiveness. Unfinished business with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Lack of closure. Ace of Swords is here. A new beginning is... Um, a new beginning is available. Or that's what this person is considering. A new beginning in love. A new beginning in a relationship or in communication. Tell me about that Ace of Swords. Let's just clarify. Sorry for the cars outside. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse, and we have Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so they want to come clean about something, Virgo. That's what they're thinking about here. They're thinking about coming clean. What is the Two of Pentacles about, Spirit? We have Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. This person feels guilty about something, Virgo. Six, seven, eight. They feel guilty about um, something they did. What's the Two of Swords? Queen of Pentacles? And the hangman. Hmm. This is a big like reevaluation energy. This person is reevaluating re their entire life, you know, and their and all of their decisions that they've made in in regards to you, in regards to the relationship or connection they have with you. Um, I feel like they're just, they're questioning everything. They're questioning themselves. And there's a lot of like guilt and sort of like a shame or regret. A lot of regret. But it's like they're not sure if they can save save this they're not sure if they can fix the damage because it's gone too far at least according to them there's something about feeling like it's too late what's the ten of swords in reverse spirit the Nine of Swords. Oh, they're stressing out a lot. And the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who wants a new beginning. But they they might feel like it's too late for that, be that new beginning. Uh, 
they're like guilty about ruining the their opportunity with you. I do feel like this person feels like they they are they're the ones to blame. You know, I feel like they're putting the blame on themselves. There might be a third party situation. They might have left you for somebody else or chosen somebody else instead of you. And I feel like this is someone who has realized their mistakes and now they're trying to kind of heal. They're trying to heal heal the connection with you or that's what they want they want to heal the connection with you the relationship what are the what are what are this person's intentions with virgo spirit let me just take a look at that what are this person's intentions with virgo the tower the tower you see there's something very dramatic here in this energy All right, what else apart from the tower? What are this person's intentions with Virgo? The Hierophant. The tower and the Hierophant. I really feel like this is someone who wants to um, apologize. Almost like they want to apologize. They want to kind of bring back into balance, bring back into fairness, into justice, something that went wrong, something that they did, because I feel like it's, it's bothering them. It's bothering their, their sense of, um, their sense of integrity, their sense of morality. They feel like they betrayed their, their mor moral code. They feel like they were unfair. They, f they feel like they, they did something unfair or they acted unfairly or they treated you unfairly. What are this person's intentions with Virgo? The fool, yeah, they want a new beginning after after this tower. Whatever it is that fell apart between you two, something dramatic here. They want to kind of erase, erase whatever happened and they want to kind of mercy. It's like they want mercy. <laughs> they want to receive mercy. They want redemption. They're upset with themselves, Virgo. They're upset whatever it is that they did, whatever it is that happened. This is someone who's upset with themselves because they feel, it's almost like they feel like an idiot. They feel like a, a fool. They they got blinded by, by vanity, uh, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. They got blinded by vanity. They got blinded by, by the superficial. And at the end of the day, you know, it's almost like somebody who got, who, who ended up with nothing. Um, what's the phrase for that? There's like a phrase, um, someone who, who didn't, I think it's something about the goose and the gander, something like that. It's almost like they traded in something for something else and then they ended up with neither of those things you know they made a bad deal you know they thought they were going to profit 
they were they thought they were going to receive some kind of profit and they ended up ruined because they made a bad judgment call or they made a bad deal they made a bad trade if that makes sense all right hopefully that <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense to you because I have no idea what that means. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what are your current feelings for this person, Virgo. How does Virgo currently feel about this person's spirit? Virgo's current feelings. All right, let's take a look. We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Hangman. And we have the Six of Swords. Hmm. We do have the Hangman here. So for some of you, you're... Um, you could be surrendering with the hangman. Tell me about that hangman spirit. That could be an energy of surrender or letting go. The justice in reverse. Ooh, justice in reverse. That's kind of what I was talking about. Something about a deal or equality, fairness, justice. And the world in reverse. Okay, so the world in reverse is an energy of things um, being unfinished, an open cycle. But I think with the Six of Swords, you might be closing the cycle, um, Virgo. What's the Six of Swords about, Spirit? We have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, some of you might be saying, you know, it's too late or it's too bad. It's too late or it's too bad. What's the eight of pentacles in reverse? The empress in reverse. Okay, what else? And the temperance card in reverse. Some of you um, just don't believe anymore in this situation this person it's the six of pentacles some of you don't want to keep giving yeah king of cups in reverse and the five of wands some of you don't want to keep giving to this person you feel like you've given them enough and you feel like you haven't received um equal um reciprocation from this person Equal, equal exchange. You haven't received equal exchange from this person. You feel like this person, some of you feel like they took advantage of you. You feel like they took advantage of you. You feel like they cheated you. Yeah, you feel like you, um, you gave too much. You were too generous. And it backfired. So some of you um, are walking away from this open cycle. And you're surrendering and you're letting go. There is an energy of some of you feeling kind of um, offended or disrespected. Or like I said, taken advantage of. Some of you feel like um, 
you were very kind or generous or very given to this giving to this person and you feel like um, you didn't deserve what you got back in return. So some of you are just feeling very hurt and feeling betrayed. And some of you are walking away from, from this energy of, of inequality, of one-sidedness that you've been stuck in with a specific person. I feel like you're making the right decision. I feel like um, some of you could choose to forgive this person, but I feel like some of you are not interested in forgiveness anymore because you feel like it doesn't make a difference or you feel like... Um, some of you might feel like this person knew what they were doing and they did it anyway, you know? So some of you might feel like this is this person is not they're not a victim, you know. You might feel like this person was aware of everything they did and you know, there's no real excuse. You can't really find a justifiable excuse for them. So some of you are just not really open to forgiveness. Um, okay, Virgo, I mean, I feel like the energy seems pretty good, especially with the Knight of Pentacles upright as your energy, so it does look like you're moving in the right direction, okay? It looks like you're doing what's right for you, what's best for you, and it, it looks like you're you're on the right track, okay? All right, Virgo, so I hope this helped you, and I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.